Hello YouTubers! It has been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've been insanely busy. We're going to look at the Boss Stitch. If I can get it in the frame there. This is their FN15 series nail gun. It's an angled finish nailer. I think the model is uh, BTFP72156. These come into my shop commonly with the wrong nails in them. So we've got the correct nails here. I think those are inch and a quarter. I don't remember. And then we've got the incorrect nails here. So first we'll see. You have to excuse me. I don't know where my tripod is. We can see that the boss stitch nails have slightly less of an angle than these, uh, whatever this brand is. I think that's a Senko nail. I can't be sure. But in any case, the important part is the head of the nail. And although these are both 15 gauge, these are both relatively the same head size as far as width goes. Okay, between my thumb and forefinger, that would be the width. They're relatively the same. The problem, if you look at the boss stitch nails, you see how those heads are all flush with each other. And that's not the same. I hope the camera's picking that up. It's not the same on these other nails. So what happens is these nails will jam up inside the head here. They won't feed correctly. The gun will try and feed one on top of another. So what do you do? So fastener type FN15 series nails. So we've got some boss stitch nails here. 15 gauge FN style. I don't know exactly what FN means. It's just a designation that Boss Stitch uses. Okay, we've got some different nails here. Inch and a quarter, 31 millimeter. And the part number is FN 1520. So you could use those nails in the gun because they're in FN series nails. Now, why do you have to use Boss Stitch's nails in boss stitch guns. Why do you think? It's marketing. It's so that they can make more money. Now, all things being told, companies, whether it be Boss Stitch, um, Black & Decker, Senko, whatever, they don't make as much money markup wise on the tool as they do the fasteners. On the tools, maybe they're going to see around an 8 to 15 percent markup depending on the company, depending on where you buy it, uh, you're going to see, at a minimum, a 50% markup. So that's where the money is, and that's why they're going to force you to buy a specific nail for a specific gun. So I hope the video was helpful. hope it was informative. Have a great day.